where can we buy bread that these may eat? They bring the loaves and fish to the Lord Jesus. Andrew does it. Andrew's always bringing, right? He's in the bringing business. He's not a great preacher, but he brings people. He brings Peter to the Lord. He brings the Greeks that want to see Jesus to the Lord. He brings the little boy. Now, John adds these phrases. This is the only place where you'll find out, first of all, that he's a lad. It's a word for a little boy. It's a diminutive. There's a little boy here. And then we're told that they were barley loaves. This is the only place you'll read this. The barley was the poor man's grain. And then we learn that they were small fishes. The only place you'll read it in John. See how he's picturing it for us? There's a little boy with barley loaves and two small fishes. And there are 25,000 people staying for dinner. 5,000 men plus women and children. My daughter asked me, what was the significance of the five and the two? Well, I'll tell you the significance of it. You ready? The significance was the little boy had five loaves and two fishes, and he gave five loaves and two fishes. That's the significance of it. (laughs) It wasn't that he gave four loaves and one fish, but that he kept some for himself. He gave the whole thing. Now, did Jesus need five loaves and two fish? How much did he have this day? Well, he had enough. If the little boy had only had one loaf and one fish, the Lord could have had 25,000 people with that too. In fact, the Lord didn't need any loaves and fishes. He made all the loaves and fishes in the world. He filled the oceans with the whales. He could have landed a whale for them. He could have given them all table for two by the window, French cuisine. He could have filled their stomachs without them eating. He could have put bagels and locks in their hands. He could have done anything he wanted. But he wanted to use that little boy. Don't you see it, Christian? He doesn't need you. He doesn't need me. But he put something into our hands. What does he put into our hands? Time. Time to pray. He gives you the ability of prayer. He says, you ask, I'll do it. Now, you see, there are a lot of things I can't do. I can't save people. See, people say, oh, Lord, please send people to the gospel meeting. The Lord says, I'll tell you what, how do you ask them, and I'll save them. Now, <laughs> you can't do the saving, but you could do the asking, right? That's the principle. When he brings this little boy here, he doesn't need the little boy, but he uses the little boy. He wants to include us in the process. And so whatever is in your hands, of course God could do the whole business without you. But he says, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little something here. You give it back to me. I'll use it for my glory. I'll accomplish my purposes. And then I'll give you the reward for it someday. Only God would do a thing like that. God's a generous God. <laughs>